Welcome back, guys. So I don't know about you, but I am super excited to get my hands on an HDMI-based Super Nintendo system that plays cartridges. So there are a handful of companies who are putting out clone systems later on this year that use HDMI for the Super Nintendo. You have Hyperkin putting out the Super Retron HD. You have Retrobit doing their thing. You have Old School putting out their dual NES slash SNES HDMI system. And there's a couple others that are doing it as well. So these systems have not been widely available as of yet, surprisingly. We don't have HDMI-based Super Nintendo clone systems just sitting on the store shelves or available through Amazon. So today, Analog, the people behind the NT that made the FGPA-based NES HD system, they have pre-orders up for their new Super Nintendo NT system, the Super NT pretty exciting stuff now their original nes system was very pricey you know upwards of 500 dollars, maybe even more for special editions that they had but you know the price range between the mini to the original nt was between four to five hundred bucks that's pretty crazy for a for a system but there was quality behind it the systems were made with aluminum and they were fgpa based they were top-notch quality there was a lot of engineering behind it and they were they were straight legit me, I couldn't afford to get one of those. So what I did was I got a retro USB AVS. No regrets. Awesome system. Great to have. But I want to show you what they got going on. So the Super NT will be available early next year in February. Pre-orders are available now for a reasonable price, I would say. Some people may not think so, but the price is a lot better than their first version of the NES NT, the analog NT. So let's go ahead and switch over and take a look, see the specs, see what the system looks like. So here we go, introducing the Super NT from Analog. Pretty sweet stuff. Pre-order now, this is available for pre-order. If you want one, click the link. I have a link in the description, go grab one. But let's go ahead and keep going through. A reimagining of perhaps the greatest video game system of all time. I agree with that one. Engineered with an FG, FPGA, a, no emulation, 1080p, zero lag, total accuracy. The Super NT is not a plug-and-play toy. Ooh, burn, burn. <laughs> you, you know, we still like our Super Nintendo classics. Come on now. It is the definitive way to explore Nintendo's 16-bit era. Compatible with the 2200-plus SNES and Super Famicom game cartridge library. Explore and relive one of the greatest video game systems of all time with no compromises. And that's the biggest thing is that analog is, you know, they've been great with their compatibility. So, you know, Super Nintendo clone systems have been pretty legit so far, but I'm really confident with these guys. 1080p with zero lag. 16 bits and 1080p is stunning. Every pixel razor sharp producing astounding level of clarity you'll experience video quality so extraordinary. It's like playing SNES for the first time. That's what I'm looking forward to. What? Play SNES wirelessly. So they are advertising this with the 8-BitDo game pads, and they have partnered with 8-BitDo in the past, so they will be introducing a new set of controllers for the different color schemes for these systems. The only thing is you have to order your controllers separately. But man, these things do look beautiful. So, like it's like I already said, they partnered with 8-Bit, though, to offer matching controllers. So that is pretty cool. And they do have some reference quality videos and sound to, to check out. So peep that out if you so choose. Unparalleled compatibility. Be able to play, you know, Super Game Boy, Mario Paint, all your cartridges, all your repros. Everything's going to work on this. We designed and manufactured the Super NT with the utmost attention to detail, engineered with an uncompromising attitude to quality. That's what I'm talking about. Preserving history with FPGA hardware. Has the same unparalleled compatibility as the NT Mini. The core functionality of the system is engineered directly into an Altera Cyclone 5, a sophisticated FPGA. We spent thousands of hours engineering the system for absolute accuracy. Unlike the knockoff and emulation systems that riddle the market today, you'll be experiencing 16-bit era free of compromises. Pretty awesome. The Super NT is designed to preserve video game history with the respect it deserves. No doubt 
available in four colors. So they have black, classic, Super Famicom, and transparent. I, I'm digging the way all of these look, but I will say I did pre-order the clear. I don't know why. I'm, I'm partial to the clear systems, even though all four of these look beautiful. If I had the money, I would probably buy the Super Famicom one as well, but I am sticking with the clear. I just think it looks legit. So they do have the tech specs here. So, you know, you can use your SNES cartridges, your Super Famicom. So this will work with every game out there. Your PAL region, your US region, and Japanese. So that is freaking sweet. Video, you got HDMI with 1080, 720, and 480. NTSC and PAL support. Awesome. Audio at 48 kilohertz, 16-bit digi digital audio via HDMI. Special features, original style, controller ports, and you have SD card firmware updating. So that's pretty cool. There will be an SD card slot on the system to update the firmware. Other features, they do have scan line options, scalar options, horizontal position adjustments, horizontal stretch, vertical position stretch, and more. Pretty awesome. They're giving you all those options for a reasonable price in, in my eyes. So we have the dimensions here, 132 by 5 millimeters in length, 166.5 you know, in width, 41.4 in height. What's in the box? You get an analog Super NT, HDMI cable, USD cable, and worldwide USB power supply. So you, know, you get all the plug types, it seems. And then they do show, hey, if you want to get this set up with the wireless game pads, Boom, here you go. Retro receiver, which I do have retro receivers, and I'm going to be doing a video on those pretty soon. And then the new 8 bit though SN30 game pads, which do look pretty awesome. So they show the different color schemes here. The clear, man, I should have ordered the clear 8 bit dose as well. Those are pretty sweet. So there you go. And here's the boxes it looks like they're going to be shipping in. These will be shipped in February of 2018. So once you go to pre-order, here you go. You got your options, 189.99. So 190 bucks. Your shipping, I guess, will probably vary, vary depending upon where you are. For me, shipping, I believe, was like $22. So this came out to a little over 200 bucks for me, which is about the same price I played, paid for my retro USB AVS. So I'm pretty, pretty happy with that. This is not going to be for everybody. People say, well, why would I want this? If you question why you would want this, then you don't want it. You don't need it. This is not for you. This is for people who still love playing Super Nintendo games on original cartridge with original cartridges or just cartridges in general and want to play with their original controllers. Yeah, there's plenty of options out there as far as emulation and other clone systems, but this this is this is for a specific market. This is not for everyone. But man, just look at how beautiful these look. Like I said, I'm, I'm really partial to this one, the Super NT Transparent. That is the one I pre-ordered. Man, I, I'm, I really should probably pre-order that controller too. That just looks sick. God, 40 bucks. So 40 bucks, that's pretty awesome actually because typically these controllers go for 35, but with these you do receive the retro receiver as well. So that's pretty cool. I might just bite the bullet and order one. Not sure. I should have ordered it together. Then they do have the NT Mini Classic still available in black and the, the silver. 450 bucks if you want to go ahead and splurge. <laughs> but there you go, guys. I just wanted to share this awesome news. Pre-order now. Shipping in February of next year. So handful of months away. Not too far. You know, it'll fly by pretty quick. So I hope you guys appreciate taking a look. My thoughts I'm, I'm, I'm amazed. I cannot wait. I'm still going to get my hands on pretty much. I was going to get every HD SNES that comes out to do review on, but I'm thinking whoever's the first one to drop the lower priced version, be it Hyperkin, old school or retro bit, I will grab at least one of those dependent upon price. Originally, I only wanted to spend 70, 80 bucks tops on one of these systems, but I know analog is is known for their quality they make an awesome product fpga you know chipset uh, i'm sold 189 dollars is a fair price in my eyes maybe not to everybody but hey for me i cannot wait smash that like button if you could would really appreciate that subscribe if you have not done so already and with that said i will catch y'all next time boom